hi welcome back to my channel i'm wendy this is baby here say hi say hi you gonna say hi no oh there you go we're gonna do a 10 month baby update if you like this kind of video um please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and comment down below right, so i am filming this on june 4th um harry turned 10 months on May 31st. Um, he went to the pediatrician on May 1st. Um, I will insert that clip here. All right, Harrison is nine months old today. Like how crazy is that, huh? See, I'm nine months old, mama, huh? Yeah, my dog, huh? Yeah, you see baby. So we're at his nine month checkup, so. We'll see, um, they just weighed him, he's 19 pounds and he's 29 inches. And I don't remember how big his head is, but yeah. So hopefully everything goes good. Huh, do you have any concerns, questions, comments? Ooh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> everything went well, we say all good. Babe. Uh oh, we're keeping you awake. Oh man. Um, everything's good. He's angry. I won't let him crawl around on the dirty hospital doctor's office floor. I know. Um, his teeth. He has the one tooth on the bottom. He has another tooth coming in next to it that he's pulling at his ear for. Um, they just no shots today. Say no shots today. Um, they are checking his iron and all of that so we're just waiting to get that back and then we're going home right, he is 20 pounds um probably between like, he was 20 pounds at his nine month checkup so he's probably about 22 pounds now he is on the go he's very much opinionated what do you want you can't have the camera here. he is crawling he started crawling um on march 16th so the day before saint patrick's day he took about two days ago he took three independent steps um he'll do three steps only to me not towards anybody else he can say dada hi and mama but mama is usually only when he's really upset um he'll only say that he baby talks or makes noises like this all the time he has two teeth can we see your teeth can you show me your teeth no you're not gonna show me your teeth Say, there they are, they're right there. He has two teeth on the bottom. Um, none else coming in anytime soon. What else about you? He eats solids. He loves to eat food, huh? Huh. Um, fruit is his veg is his favorite, obviously. Anything I am eating, he wants to eat. He we are doing partially baby led weaning. So I still give him baby food and feed him. But when we have dinner, I give him whatever we're eating for dinner to see if he wants it. He really likes um avocado. And bananas. What else do you like to eat? What else does he like to eat? Adam's sitting over here. Sweet potatoes. Um, sweet potatoes is his favorite. Sweet potatoes and avocado are his favorite fruit, I would say. Vegetable, I would say. He likes feeding himself. That's a big thing he's doing. So we've given him a spoon a couple times. Not a couple times. Almost every time I give him silverware to try to feed himself. He has learned that if he doesn't want it, he can take it. And put it off his um his high chair and feed it to the dogs so that's wonderful huh he also knows where the refrigerator is he um he does this weird thing he pushes everything around the floor so like he will put his hands on top of i don't have any toys in front of me um on top of his like little play cube that is only like a you know a foot by a foot and he will stand on his feet and push it with his hands. He does that with everything. Um, he will, he has a little baby walker. I'll see if I can insert some video of what I'm talking about. That like, you know, you just push it and he will push it. And then if he gets stuck, he will move it and turn the direction if he needs to be. Um, what else about you little man? Huh? What else, what else? He sleeps, still not napping very much during the day. He sleeps great at night still. Um, his new thing at night now is if he can't see me, if he like wakes up in his crib because he shares a room with Adam and I and he can't see me, 
he will start to scream. So we had to resituate his crib so that he can see like our bed. It was like our bed was here and his crib was here but he couldn't see us, so we moved his bed, so our bed's here and his bed's here, so we can turn around and see if he wants to. It seems to help. He is still on Nutrimogen formula, and we'll be on that until he no longer needs formula because um, it's what he knows. We, <laughs> he dropped his. This is a teething necklace that a, the mom wears or dad or whatever, and then it's like you put it on like this, and then. You're carrying your baby. Look, I'm carrying my baby. And he chews on it. Um, so we don't think he has a dairy intolerance anymore. Um, he has had mac and cheese. He said gluten-free mac and cheese. No, he's had regular mac and cheese too, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. He's had mac and cheese. He's had um, a little bit of ice cream. He's had, um, he really likes cream cheese with a bagel. It's what I've been eating almost every morning for breakfast. Um, but we are still going to keep him on for the next two months. He's going to stay on his Nutrimogen, um, and then we will slowly introduce cow's milk to him and see how he does that way. Um, cheese and yogurt is, um, processed differently, so it's not as harsh. Like, Adam can have yogurt, Adam can have small quantities of cheese and all of that, but Adam can't drink a glass of milk. So, we're going to do that. Oh, you got itchy? Oh, itchy, yeah. Um, he really enjoys looking out the window. So we have a wind front window. Um, he likes standing and looking at that because across the street from us in our new house is a fire station. He really likes fire trucks. He likes it when they <laughs> sound the alarm. Um, you want to get down? Are you going to leave me? Are you done? Yeah. Um, we're teaching him to get down this way so anytime we're holding him and we put him down we make him get down that way even though we could put him down just so he learns that um yeah what else about you little man you want to see you want to come back see um he kind of says he's gonna play with the tripod now um he kind of says up all right so he kind of says up so when he wants <laughs> he's staring at me on the floor like right here um, when he wants, <laughs> sorry, when he wants to get picked up, he will, if you're standing up, he'll stand up using your leg and then he kind of goes, ah, 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 as he's like lifting himself to go up. Ignore the boxes I still need to go through. Um, this is his like board books and then these are other kid books. So he likes taking his books down, picking them up, taking them down. Um, this was the walker thing I was talking about. Here, come here. but he wants to go down the hallway and so he knows how to move it he can move he will move he really likes a recycle bin to move around huh. all right here um he takes them all out we put them all back all the time he pushes everything around he is just very much little boy um and on the go at all times. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> he just. <laughs> you alright? Come here. One of his favorite pastimes is just opening and closing books, like most baby at his age. You gonna read it? <gasps> he does clap. loves to dance. I've had to take my camera off the tripod because he's found the tripod. Um, he loves to dance and he loves when you sing and play music. He dances to that. Um, he's, we're also trying to teach him when his books to not just flip and turn the pages, but to um, actually let us read the book. But he's 10 months old. So. Right, if you like this kind of video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe for more fun. I do post three times a week on family life halls all of that um we do do once a week we are exploring south florida so that's been fun um 
So we will see you next time. Bye. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. No? No? Two hands are busy?